Hello and welcome back to Mirror Interpretation to Drova. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Ioana and I am an interpreter and a polyglot. And today I'm recording a video for you that is called Deve Developmental Delay Disability Assistance Call. This is how I call this call because it talks about the programs that help children with developmental delay or disability for young children and parents. And in this call, we are going to discuss this matter. Uh, I repeat, the challenging part of this call are that they are quite long sentences, but there is um, pretty logical to follow in my opinion. Um, not too much numbers and um, the challenging is that it's longer sentences so get ready with your pen and paper and get ready with the notes let's start hello ma'am i like to explain you what kind of document i need in order to enroll you in the program is called psychosocial diagnosis Okay. Inside of this pro, uh, document is included information in relation on how this person has reacted. His diagnosis, such as a deviation from natural growth or developmental delay, and this document must be completed within a framework of one year from the day of application. The questions are related and must be responded in the time frame for the past year. This document is completed by community worker or social worker. Okay, so I hope that at the clinic they can help me fill out this document and provide it to me. Yes, of course. The last paperwork that we need, this is a medical evaluation from a doctor and you do this at the clinic where is written all the details about the person and his developmental delay, the condition, health problems, and so on. This must be again filled within the time frame of the last year at the doctor's office, nurse, or, or uh, the assistant of the doctor can provide you the filled document. However, is the doctor or the nurse practitioner that can pull it out for you? So the doctor can provide me this form, correct? Yes, this is correct. I will continue with the instructions. So after uh, neuropsychology evaluation and the specialist did their part, it means that the doctor has to put the diagnosis. It's just a medical evaluation or it's a document that say the diagnosis with which my children suffer or it's just like more administrative to clarify. Um, 
so let let me explain you it's a special form that is not uh it's not a summary uh, this is fooled by a third party doctor and it's not a diagnosis this is like a checking and confirmation uh, where the doctor says yes uh these children or this patient has this type of uh problem and confirm the main diagnosis that the child has, for example, developmental delay or delay in growth. And this is just a confirmation uh, that the development is slow. But it means that you talk with the social worker and you can ask for the document uh, and which document is going to work OK for this case. If necessary, they will give you a referral and tell you how it's done and where to do it. Ah, okay. So right now I will explain you what's mean temporary or provisional eligibility. This means that you, in this case, your child will be temporarily eligible for services and I will explain you the rules for it. Okay, this means that the children that correspond to requirements for el eligibility has a right to receive an automatic assistance. This automatic rules is for the children under age eight. If the child is under eight, they can do and receive this assistance based on health condition which allow temporary type of social assistance, financial assistance, and additional help with services which the child receive auto automatically. Oh, okay, I understand. And this is called provisional el eligibility or automatic eligibility. All the children that receive this help or program are going to be under the review on the rights receiving these services by their eighth birthday or the eighth birthday of the child. Sometimes a bit earlier, sometimes a bit after the eighth birthday of the child. Oh, okay. Why they give this temporary uh, provisional rights for the program use is because sometimes uh, specialists find out that if a children receive assistance right away, the child can fully develop and enter within the role, within the norm pretty fast. Oh, I understand. I'm going to tell you what type of services are offered by this program OPWPD. Please, if you think that there is any services that may help you, you or your child or your family, do write it down 
And when you meet your care coordinator or manager, you will automatically discuss this with them. Okay, thank you so much. The first program that we offer is called OPWPD. It's uh, call it Care for Family and Support. Inside of this program is offered a respite. This means to offer a person who care for your child uh, to substitute you if you need to, to get rest. They offer training for the caregiver who take care of the child and support. They also offer a reimbursement, which is to pay you for your caregiving services uh, or social services. Uh, it's a, and also they provide a social services, a fun-based uh, services for children, uh, to take them to socialize through fun activities uh, for children uh, who with special needs after school or a special school programs. Oh, I understand. They also offer something called sibling services to help support family members for the child family member who have a developmental delay, like social fun activity or school. Sibling services are more for the caregiver or relatives of the child. Okay, now I will talk about respite. Respite is a program that offers support. There will be person who can come to your home and take care of your child and you can have a rest. Uh, then we have a second service of respite. It's a side base where you can bring the child uh, like a daycare and leave it to someone to take care of the child like for a certain period of time or several times a week. Uh, and then we have one more respite called intensive care when the child has a very serious healthcare condition problems, behavior health, psychological, neurological, and it's necessary and medical assistance is necessary. This is called intensive care because it's provided in a special medical facility. Okay, I understand. And there is additional help assistance with technolo technology. They can do physical changes at your home, at the kitchen, in the bathroom, change the lights. They can change, uh, provide different type of um, objects for your home and and specially connected to help with the need with your child for example in the shower or to avoid your child being hurt Okay. 
And then there is a different assistance also uh, offered called adaptive. Uh, they can offer different machinery tools that can help you or toys or communication tools that can help uh, you and your child or some other type of proper uh, utensils for the foods and so on. And the adaptive portion also in, includes the physical changes in the car. This means they can do changes in your car to respond to the specific need of your child. Mm, for example, if chair is necessary, a special machinery, modification of the car, a special arm or hold bars uh, to help the person that have a de developmental delay. Okay, I understand. And they do offer also other type of services for older people. But I would not mention because you're not going to use it right now. Uh, I will just talk about the rehabilitation services. For example, work to, they offer find job, find home, rehabilitation social activity, adaptation in society, psychological support, therapy, and therapy during crisis. This is all services that they offer, but it's not right now in this stage. Okay, and now I will talk a little bit about how OPWVPD is paid. This program pay through home, domestic, and social assistance programs, Medicaid. Uh, and this is an exceptional program because OPWPD is the biggest program that is a state and a federal program uh, paid through this uh, subsidized through the state and the feds. Just the last portion, for the fact that you receive free services, you are obligate to fill requirement for Medicaid insurance. Also, you fill out a document wa waiver, which means removal of payment if the child is under 18 and has right to receive this program without the calculating the income of the parents. Uh, this is, you have to follow those ru rules. Okay, if you don't receive Medicaid, the government health insurance, there are other programs that are called sponsored through the state and family supported programs that uh, may be out there for the local uh, and state organization uh, available to assist you. I understand. So we are at the end of our conversation. You must call the phone number of all those companies that I give you. Please tell your healthcare coordinator, explain what you need, explain that you need to apply for OPWPD, provide all the documents to your manager so they can help you 
through all this paperwork um, your and help your behalf on behalf of you and your child to apply. Okay, I will definitely call for sure. Thank you so much. And do you have any further question before we end up this conversation? No more question. A huge thank you. Thank you so much for explaining all that. And thank you for calling me. And thank you guys for being here on my YouTube channel. Recording this consecutive interpreting practices. Um, that was a challenging set because the sentences were really long. Once again, this is real sets. I remove the private information of the clients and I make those scripts for you guys to feel how it's like to work as an interpreter in real life. I hope this was useful and I hope you enjoyed this uh, training and I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.